Wait, that's what he's woohooing in? With bunny slippers? <laughs> Vlad is woohooing in like a trench coat and bunny slippers. Okay, Vlad. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hethwin and we are back to play some more of the 100 Baby Challenge. And we are now on our third matriarch, Jillian. And in our last episode, Jillian gave birth a little bit early to a baby. She had another baby boy and the baby donor was an alien. So there is a chance that this baby, Jupiter, could be an alien. We don't know for sure yet if that's the case, but if we come over into our game, we can see that little Jupiter is in fact purple. He came with like a normal bassinet, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's not an alien. So we're going to have to wait until he ages up into an infant before we know for sure if he's going to be an infant. Although we could listen, and if we hear alien cries, then he could be an alien. But he's not crying right now, which is fine. Her firstborn is Cody. He is an infant, and he is a spellcaster. So that was an exciting development for him. He needs to have... <clears throat> three fine motor, three first, three gross motor, and three social before he is ready to age up into a toddler. And I think since everyone seems to be doing okay, I think maybe having Jillian do a little bit of tummy time with him would not go amiss. Oh, he's learned how to coo. Okay, that's excellent. We will let her do some tummy time and work on that with him. Jillian is earning her money through making jewelry and selling jewelry. And in fact, we were just getting ready to like have a jewelry sale when she went into labor early and gave birth to Jupiter. So maybe after she does some tummy time with Cody, she can try that sale again. Now we do have the next baby donor lined up and it is none other than Vladislas Stroud. So we're going to have Vlad be our next baby donor for the potential of a vampire baby. I'm trying to collect one of each occult child with Jillian. I thought it might be fun with our matriarchs going forward to try to get one of each. Catherine, our first matriarch, got a lot. She didn't get an alien or a vampire, but she did get all the others. Josephine had vampire and werewolf children, and now Jillian has had a spellcaster, but, and maybe an alien? We don't know yet. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and try and have another jewelry sale and see if we can have some success with that. She only has four things for sale at the moment. She's got a star-shaped gemstone, a botanical ring, botanical bracelet, and a bling necklace. So hopefully we can sell some stuff. She's doing okay right now from a financial point of view, but we're going to need to be buying more things as time goes on, so making sure that we can afford that is going to be kind of important. Oh nice! Cody has unlocked the grab milestone. That is amazing. And it looks like Josephine did manage to sell some things. Let's try and do a sales pitch to Lori Delgado and see if she is gonna bring up anything okay magnolia montgomery bought the star-shaped gemstone so that's a bonus once our yard sale is done we'll invite over vlad and get to doing some woohoo with him but we have another alien showing up so i suppose if this isn't an alien then we could try with this one she does know a few aliens, so we have some additional alien options if Jupiter is not an alien. Oasis Springs was like the place to live. I think the alien just bought- wait, this guy is looking shady. Is he gonna try to steal the ring? Kabir here was looking a little bit shady, like he wanted to steal that ring. I don't- he didn't, which is good, but that was a little questionable. Okay, our yard sale is over, so let's clear the table and we can put it away. And let's get Vlad over here and we can try to woohoo with Vlad. Oh, we've got a crying baby. Okay, I think Jupiter might be human because I don't hear cries like he's an alien. Okay, Vlad is on his way. Jillian is feeling very confident from some xenophilia from interacting with an alien. 
So she is feeling confident. Vlad is here. That should definitely help with the romancing. Not wasting any time and going right in for a kiss. So let's just get right down to it and go try for a pregnancy with Vlad and see if we have any luck with a Vladdy Daddy baby. Oh, he's gonna poof into the bedroom. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, Vlad. Wait, that's what he's woohooing in? With bunny slippers? <laughs> Vlad is woohooing in like a trench coat and bunny slippers. Okay, Vlad. All right, let's see if we are pregnant. So we'll have Jillian come take a pregnancy test. And Jillian is pregnant. That was, that was quick. Okay, where did Vlad just poof to? Okay, he poofed right in front of us. All right, let's tell Vlad that we want to just be friends. All right, we're going to ask Vlad to just be friends. Be like, I really have enjoyed getting to know you and certainly like hanging out with you and flirting with you has been a lot of fun. But I think we probably are better off just as friends. I've got like these kids to raise. So I think it'd be better off if we were just friends. So they've cooled off their relationship and Vlad can go home now. All right, I've got Jillian designing some more jewelry. I took off her bracelet to let that char get like recharged again because she has this bracelet that like fills up all of her needs and all of her needs are like good and full right now. So we're going to let that charge. She also has a necklace that will help her find crystals doing things around the house. So she's wearing that at the moment. So maybe we'll find some more crystals. We could really use some more metals to make things, but we can always just cut gemstones in the meantime. She also has this gemstone that's supposed to make it more likely for her to give birth to twins or triplets, which we forgot to actually put out when we woohooed with Vlad. Um, and then we have these earrings that are supposed to do the same thing, but we have to remember to put these on like right before she's gonna go into labor and see if that helps. We tried to do it with Jupiter, but Jupiter's labor was a little bit unexpected and kind of came out of nowhere. And so we didn't have time to put that on. Okay, Cody has learned how to roll over onto his back. So he has got that new milestone unlocked. And he is feeling a little bit sleepy. So why don't we put him down on his mat? And then it looks like Jupiter needs some attention as well. Oh no, Cody had his first blowout. All right, once Jillian gets back from collecting more things, she'll have to tend to him and give him a bit of a bath. But that does mean that he has two of all of his milestones. So just one more of each, and he will be good to age up into a toddler, which will be a good thing because Jupiter is going to be an infant really soon. All right, Jillian had a fairly successful outing. She got a whole bunch of crystals and she got some rose gold as well as some furium, so a couple of metals. So not a bad trip out. Ooh, Cody has completed the sleep through the night milestone. That's amazing and early for that to happen. Okay, we've come up and we've met this pearl person who Josephine thinks is rather charming but also weird and she thinks that she's responsible but also they don't have good compatibility. I thought she looked kind of cute and like she could be a good baby donor choice but I don't know maybe not because we can definitely have like some normal babies and not have an occult baby. I guess let's just see how this goes with Pearl because it wouldn't it wouldn't be bad to have like another person lined up. Oh she's she's ready to go okay. Well Jillian needs to eat, so why don't you come and get something to eat? Okay, and Cody has woken up, and he had a blowout, so he is in desperate need of a bath and some food. So after Jillian eats, we'll feed him and then give him a bath. She is very angry because she is having an irritable mood swing as part of her pregnancy, poor thing. Jupiter is still sleeping peacefully, though, so this is a positive. So interestingly, Cody got all of his first without any of them being a first bath. Usually when I play this, the three first milestones are diaper blowout, bubble bath, and bath. But he has diaper blowout, but no bath or bubble bath. He slept through the night, which is kind of amazing. 
He is a calm baby, so maybe that's why. I'm kind of thinking, too, that before it gets to be evening, we'll put the bracelet back on Jillian. So while the kids are okay, she can work on cutting some more gemstones. Because she's got like a whole bunch of gemstones, but not a ton of metals right now. So we could definitely cut some of these gemstones and sell some of the gemstones. And that might not be a bad idea. Okay, so it is Jupiter's birthday. So once we're done bathing this one, probably should see about getting Jupiter sorted here. Also, I have another playmat in her inventory, so we could put that out here in the living room maybe, and there could be one in here and like one in the kids' room. Actually, before we age up Jupiter, I want to do tummy time one more time with Cody and see if we can get another gross motor milestone done with him. Oh, we could practice sitting. Let's do that instead. No, that's not what I told you to do. Oh my gosh. I think he just pooped his pants again. It figures, right? You just give the kid a bath and then they instantly poop again. That's kind of the way it goes with babies. All right, we tried a little bit more with Cody. We're going to put him here on this mat and then let's come in and age up Jupiter. All right, Jupiter has aged up into an infant. We are going to randomize his infant trait three times and see what kind of infant he's going to be. We got really lucky with Cody being a calm infant. So fingers crossed that we get lucky with Jupiter as well. All right, one, two, three. Okay, he is cautious. So these sims appreciate the familiar but are slow to warm up to new experiences, locations, and sims. I mean, that's okay. That's not that big of a deal. I don't think Jupiter, though, is a alien, but let's find out and give him a makeover. All right, so here is Jupiter, who is unfortunately not an alien. Um, he is really cute, though. He's got, like, the lavender eyes and the dark hair. He's very purple, <laughs> so, but he is... Not an alien, unfortunately. All right, this is his everyday, his formal, his sleepwear, his party wear, his hot weather wear, and his cold weather wear, which, like, we need to not clash with his skin, but it's a little tight, tough, because he is really purple. We now have two infants, so Jillian is definitely going to have her hands full, and right off the bat, Jupiter needs to eat, so let's come and do that. And I think now with the two infants here, we're going to go ahead and have her wear her bracelet again. Okay, nice. Cody has unlocked the toe and mouth milestone. So good for Cody. He just needs one more gross motor and one more social. But I'm thinking with the addition of Jupiter, the social might come a little bit better because I've noticed that when there's multiple infants and you keep them in the same room, so like maybe we'll bring this out here, they will kind of talk to each other. Oh, Jupiter is a feeding tinkler. Okay, we've learned his first quirk. Very good. All right, Jillian, why don't you come and put Jupiter down? Apparently both of Jillian's sons uh, pee when she's engaging with them. Oh, that's not the ideal way for things to go, but there, there we have it. All right, with these two pretty much taken care of, I think we're going to cut a gemstone. Let's do, let's do a brilliant cut and let's do this. Ooh, citrine sims will randomly find simoleons doing things around the house. That's kind of, let's do that one. And maybe we'll keep that one and just like let it sit around somewhere. That might not be a bad one to have on hand. Jillian has been feeling rather cheerful lately. Things are going well and Jillian doesn't have a care in the world. I mean, yeah, you can be cheerful. Sure, why not? All right, Jillian is now in her second trimester with Vladdy Daddy's baby. Ooh, one of the crystal trees has grown. Nice. So these will actually give crystals to Josephine when she's ready for them so she can, like, go out and harvest crystals off of the crystal tree. So we've got one that's fully grown now, so hopefully it'll produce crystals soon. That would be amazing. While the two infants are sleeping. She is working away on designing her jewelry and she's now reached level eight of the gemology skill. So she can now design Edwardian Gothic jewelry and cut heart-shaped gemstones. So very good for her. The Edwardian jewelry is actually really beautiful. All of the jewelry is really beautiful, but that stuff is like particularly stunning. Oh, Cody has unlocked the laugh milestone. Very good. 
So he just needs a gross motor, and then he should be good to age up, which I think we should be able to do. And oh, but <laughs> Jupiter is also awake now. All right, let's get Cody fed, and then let's feed Jupiter, and then we'll come back to Cody to do some tummy time. And Jupiter has unlocked the reach milestone, so that's fantastic. And then we've got a couple of stinky diapers happening. Jupiter is also a self-soother. This is a good trait for him. Oh hey, it's New Year's Eve. And Cody has now re unlocked the rollover to tummy milestone. Very good. He needs a bath really badly. But I think that should be all his milestones and he can age up. Yeah, he's got three fine motor, four first, three gross motor, and three social. So he is good to age up. He needs a bath first. It is New Year's Eve. So maybe we will let Josephine go celebrate New Year's Eve with one of these potential baby donors that she has kind of lined up that we're working on. Oh, Cody's also unlocked the sit-up milestone. Okay, he did that like all by himself. He's kind of in a green cloud of stink. So Jillian is making the birthday cake and then he is going to need a bath before we age him up into a toddler. All right, we are having Cody blow out his candles and he is going to be a toddler. And we are going to randomize his toddler trait three times. And then we're also going to need to purchase some toddler things because we don't have like a toddler bed. We don't have stuff for toddlers right now. So let's randomize his toddler trait three times. One, two, three. He is a charmer. It was like all three times I hit that was charmer. So he is destined to be a charmer. All right, and he has aged up. We are gonna go take a look at him in Cass, give him a makeover, and then add in some toddler things. And maybe we'll add a few more things, like give Jillian a few more counters. Maybe she can have a TV or something like that. Just give her a few more things to kind of round out the house. She's got enough money for it, so I think she can afford that. All right, so this is Cody. He is a spellcaster. And he didn't have a whole lot of hair as an infant, so I kind of kept his hair kind of short on him. But this is his everyday, his formal, his sleepwear, his party wear, his swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. And he is all made over and ready to start ripping the house apart as a toddler. We have added in a toddler bed and some toddler toys. And Jupiter's unlocked the coup milestone. Very good. We also put in like a back patio kind of for the toddlers to do some playing in and also a tv for jillian and oh dear cody is exhausted and has passed out in the middle of the kitchen floor oh no poor little guy all right why don't you read this poor child to sleep all right with one of the kids aged up i think we can do a little tummy time with jupiter Oh my gosh, we, I was gonna have her work on romancing Lori Delgado, but Lori Delgado's now dead. Oh no, that was gonna be our next potential baby donor. Oh no. Oh, and Cody now hates bedtime. Great. Excellent. He's exhausted. Okay, maybe take a nap instead, Cody. That's not a good one for you to have. Hey, Jupiter has unlocked the lift the head milestone. Oh no, he's angry though. How dare you put me down? Oh no. He's not happy with his tummy time. He wants attention instead. Well, we could try Pearl. They have bad compatibility, but she did think that Pearl was charming. So maybe we can try Pearl. We'll invite her over, I guess, and see how it goes. It is also New Year's, so we could maybe go out for New Year's. Oh, hello, Dante Landgrab. He's okay, let's go say hi to this Landgrab. I mean, I'm not generally speaking in favor of land grabs, but he's not bad looking. He's got like shoulders and everything. Shoulders disappear easily in The Sims, so especially for a land grab, like he's fairly attractive. You never really know what you're going to get with land grabs. Oh, that didn't look great. Okay, let's start easy by getting to know him. Oh, they have bad compatibility, too. Oh, no. But she thinks he's rather charming, although egocentric. I mean, he is a land grab. And she, he thinks she's fun to be around. So maybe all that will, like, overcome things. 
He's a green fiend. Orion, I don't want to talk to you right now. Well, we don't have to like him like him. We just have to have a baby with him. Alright, what if we flirt with him a little? Let's compliment his appearance. From a friendship perspective, things aren't going terrible. Oh, he's leaving. Wait, he... F Come back! I want to flirt with you more. Go do a pickup line. Oh, now Jillian is being playful. And apparently Cody has woken up and has acquired the communication skill. Okay, good job, Cody. Well, Jillian is out here flirting with this guy. Oh, he's now flirty, too. Ask a risque question. I mean, all things considered, they're not, you know, doing too bad. They have a little romance bar happening now. So, good. They're both flirty. Maybe Dante Landgrab is going to be our next thing. He likes painting. Excellent. It's New Year's, so, you know, flirting is in the air, I guess. They can do a first kiss. Let's do that. We're just going to, like, speed through this. Also, it looks like we can harvest crystals from our crystal tree. Just a random side note. There's crystals ready to be harvested. And now Cody has acquired the thinking skill. He's inside getting all his skills going on while Jillian is out here kissing a land grab. Ooh, he's initiating some flirting now. Nice. It's now a steamy exchange. Oh, he has to go now. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know if we're close enough to woohoo with him yet, but all right. See you later. Bye. Okay, let's come and harvest our crystals from the crystal tree, because this is awesome. And actually, we haven't gone out to collect things, so we should probably do that while kids are not happy. While one kid is not happy. Once they become teenagers, we can, like, make the teenagers go harvest gems. Put them to work. Oh, Jupiter has had his first blowout, and Jillian is, like, way over here getting crystals. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, Josephine has died. Oh, goodness. That's not a good way to end the year, to have Josephine die. Josephine was Jillian's mother and our second matriarch. She had 21 babies, and she has now passed on and has been laid to rest. It's a little bit sad for her. All right, Jillian has made it back, though, to potty train Cody, who loves to be carried. He's a little big for that. He hates bedtime, but he loves to be carried. And Jillian was successful in finding a few more medals while she was out, and she's got a lot of crystals stacked up, so these are good things. Okay, Jillian is now in her third trimester, and New Year's is coming to an end with her giving Jupiter a bath from his first blowout. So he's going to have his first bubble bath and first bath milestone. But I think with all of that, this is a good place to wrap up this episode. We saw both Cody and Jupiter have birthdays today. Uh, Jillian is now in her third trimester with Laddie Daddy's baby. So that baby will be born in the next episode. And we'll have to see if, one, it ends up being twins. We'll put on the earrings that are supposed to increase the likelihood of twins when we play again. And... Two, will we have a vampire? Or are we going to have to go try to hunt down Lilith Vator for another vampire? So we'll just have to see how it goes. Drop some baby name ideas in the comments below for our potential vampire baby. And let me know what you think about the boys so far. Jupiter's very purple. And when you think we should try again for an alien. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!